Can you actually play like Kylian Mbappé? I'm gonna be analyzing how Kylian Mbappé plays as well as his weaknesses, his strength and his special abilities that makes him the way he is. Personally speaking, I can't play like him because of my speed or other abilities just won't allow me to be like him at all. Analyzing and understanding a certain player's strength and what they do on the field might help you become a better player. This man doesn't need introduction because anybody who loves football knows who Kylian Mbappe is. What separates Kylian Mbappe from other great players is his speed. Certain players like Lionel Messi or Erling Haaland, these players also have speed. These players are also fast. But when it comes to Erling Haaland, he's only fast on a long distance. But if you look at Messi, he's really quick in a short distance. But what separates Kylian Mbappe is that his speed in a short and long distances. This reminds me a lot like Cristiano Ronaldo. Usually when you think about a tall player, you would think that the tall player would be faster in a long distance, but slower in a short distance. But by working hard, these two players really, really improved their abilities to be incredibly quick in a short distances as well. You can actually make a tall player fast in a short distance. Probably not as fast as a short player, but you can still improve that quite a bit. But if you look at players like Lionel Messi, no matter how much you try, you can only improve their speed in a long distance at a certain level because of the length of their legs will not allow this to happen. So a tall player with longer legs will always catch up or pass the short players in a long distance. So your first goal to play like Kylian Mbappe is to be really, really fast. And you really need to improve this ability before you can work on other abilities that Kylian Mbappe plays with. Yes, he is technical, he's great with the ball, his first touch is great, but most importantly, he has this incredible speed that helps him along the way. These types of players like Cristiano Ronaldo or Kylian Mbappe are incredibly unpredictable and very hard to defend because you know they're gonna be quick in a short distance and you know they're gonna be quick at a long distance, which makes the situation very challenging for the defending players. I'm gonna mention his weakness before I actually mention his other strengths because if you wanna be like Kylian Mbappe, you have to earn this weakness. So in my opinion, Kylian Mbappe's biggest weakness is his work ethic. So he doesn't contribute too much to his team's defending. But the reason he can do this and his team allows him to do this is because how good he is when the team is actually attacking, how quick he is to actually change the game when things are going bad. Also, of course, his coach and his teammates are allowing this because the more tired these types of players get, the less they can show their abilities when attacking. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you and sorry if I offend you, but players like you, myself, we are nowhere as special as Kylian Mbappe is. So if you're a decent player, not too good, not too bad, just a decent player, we have to adjust to do both parts in the game when it comes to defending and attacking. You have to be so special so you can get out of the defending portion of the play. So what Mbappe earned as a winger or as a striker that he's so special that the team can actually compromise one player when it comes to defending. Another strength of Mbappe is his confidence. Before any of the other talents, he has the obvious talent where his first touch is great, his dribbling skills are incredible, his shooting skills is incredible. He has an incredible amount of confidence. And of course, when you're so young and you're actually going out there, you're becoming one of the best players in the World Cup, winning the World Cup, uh, this will give you the confidence that we will never experience. When you are so confident that you're not scared to lose the ball, you're not scared to dribble around a few players and try to shoot, try to score yourself, your teammates will get mad at you sometimes or your fans will get mad at you sometimes, but they also know at the same time that you are the player that you can change the game. And he doesn't care about losing the ball. He doesn't care about not assisting. 
So these types of special players has to be selfish in a certain way. I'm not telling you to be selfish because you might not be as special as Kylian Mbappe. To summarize his talents, his amazing speed plus his incredible first touch as well as his dribbling skills equals Kylian Mbappe. It's as simple as that. Positionally, Kylian Mbappe plays either striker or a winger. But he is giving this role because he has the freedom he needs. So even when he is playing as a striker, he can be out wide to use the space that he needs to be able to show his abilities to his speed, his dribbling skills and shooting skills. When he is playing winger, he likes to play on the left where obviously doesn't like to go out wide. He likes to cut inside and try to shoot it himself or quick one, two touches and try to finish it. Because he is very talented, he is given this freedom on the wide side of the field to observe the game, find those gaps and go after those gaps to be able to use his talent, to be able to use his speed to score more goals. When it comes to these types of players, even when they are assigned a certain position, they are not really limited to play that position. They can really do whatever is necessary for them to show why they are the best players in the world. And they know where on the field is the best place for them to receive the ball and finish the position. But remember this, you can't really be like Kylian Mbappe. None of us can be. It's so rare to be like Lionel Messi, to be like Mbappe or Haaland or Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm not saying this to underestimate your talents, but unfortunately, not a lot of us gets to be like Kylian Mbappe. I hope you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel with the notifications on. You can become a member of my channel where I have a specific discord group that I can help you be better at playing football. Thanks for tuning in, I will see you next time.